what is the translation memory for example source plus target plus parameters that forms the translation memory now let us take an example for example here we are considering french as a source language and english as a target language je m'appelle govinda rajan it is there in french in english it is either i am govinda rajan or my name is govinda rajan then there are parameters like username for example govind and timestamp of creation of this segment okay now the tm will save the french sentence the english sentence plus date or username or whatever parameters so this is the simplest definition of a translation memory your source sentence plus target sentence plus parameter forms the translation memory and it will start building up from one sentence to thousands and lakhs and lakhs of sentence as you keep on translating files throughout uh, the year and several years together okay and uh, what is a match and fuzzy match and no match okay let us say that my name is govind rajan this sentence is saved in the translation memory now currently if i want to translate this same my name is govind rajan this thing will be compared with the tm segment and i will get a 100% match and it will be automatically substituted by omega t if as in case 2 i am going to translate my name is govind rajan without a full stop so in that case it will be a 99% match and if you consider the case 3 my name is govind so it may be approximately a 80% match suppose if i am going to translate i live in india so i live in india and my name is govind rajan which is saved in the translation memory are not at all matching in any manner so it will be a no match so case 1 will be 100% match case 2 and case 3 are fuzzy match and case 4 is a no match okay please note that some companies may discount you for repetitions and fuzzy matches that is case 2 and case 3 okay next repetition if a sentence is repeating many number of times within a same file or if you are handling a set of files then that is also considered as a repetition okay for example if my name is govind rajan is repeating five times in the same file or let us say you are handling a project with a set of file you are having four or five files if the segment in first two file that is the sentence my name is govind rajan is there in first file as well as the second file as well as in the third file then also it will be considered as a repetition if you translate this my name is govind rajan in the first file it will be automatically filled in the second file third file or fourth file so you are saving the typing effort and the energy required to uh, type the thing as well as you are saving the time this is one of the main advantage of any cat tool next when you are going to translate a paragraph this paragraph will be segmented into segments okay so segment can be one word or many words but it will be subdivided to smaller segments okay so all cat tools have their own segmentation principles and delimiters to uh, split the paragraph into a segment so when you want to translate a particular sentence cat tool will compare this sentence with whatever sentence is saved in the translation memory whether anything is matching if there is a match it will automatically apply if there is no match then it will keep the target side empty so you have to manually enter the translation 
generally the segmentation will be like a paragraph based or sentence based segmentation by default it will be a sentence based segmentation and you can always modify the segmentation rule in a cat tool okay so omega t deals with two types of project for example if i am a translator working alone as a freelancer then i will use the standard project next case is if i am working with a set of translator a team of two or three people then i will use the option of team project so i will have a common directory where the files and the translation memory is kept so that everyone will be able to access and use the file shared between the set of freelance translators in standard project what will it have it will have files for translation optionally you can have glossary certainly there will be a tm which will save your translation otherwise there is no meaning in using a cat tool then optionally you can use a paid machine translation and you can you have to configure the mt then you can additionally use additional plugins such as trados plugin from okapi framework and there are also general setting for the omega t software there is also qa thing that you can do with omega t